Hello everyone, my name is Legend Ronnie and this game is Rise of Kingdoms. Woozy Town Commander Spotlight. This is going to be the today's video. And did I waited some time to actually talk about her? Yes, I did. I wanted to make sure that the information I'm gonna say about her is actually gonna be really, really good. Because before the season three of KVK actually started, the test that we have done with Woozy Town was very inconclusive. So that's why I actually waited before I've done my commander spotlight about her but now that we have seen her in action on the third season of kvk oh boy is there a lot we can talk about her yes it is Before we go any further, you want to know approximately the stars that you need to actually max out a legendary in terms of stars and you want to know exactly the sculptures that you need to max out a legendary. Now I do have to say on a note, you're noticing that in this picture it says approximately 406 to get a commander to 6 stars. On my live stream, I actually 6 star Attila and it actually took me 384 stars to actually bring into six star so it actually depends on your luck when you star a commander it depends on that crit chance critical chance actually cost less stars so it's rng random number generated hope that's on your side when you're maxing your legendary another thing you want to know about was how you can actually obtain her because she's not in mg she's not in the wheel she's not in the gold chest so where we can get her she is the reward of the second season of kvk if you are one of the alliance that actually hold the ziggurat or if you are holding one of the other alliances crusader fortress <laughs> <laughs> Another way you can actually obtain her after the second season of KVK is through the Karking event. Now, if you still haven't seen her in the Karking event, have no worries. She's going to be there on the second, third or in another Karking event. Right, before I go into her talent builds, do have a lot of talent builds about her. It's actually three of them and I have to specify and clarify about each and every talent that i've done for her leadership garrison and support that is pretty unique and you guys know as much as they keep introducing commanders into the game more and more variety and options there are for garrisons field battles rallies and specific roles i will definitely post a lot of cards on the top so you definitely want to check some of them because you're probably wondering based on what i'm actually doing her commander spotlight i don't even have her skilled her up or leveled up but did we actually fight a lot against her i actually have players in my lands that have maxed her we have also seen her in defense in garrison definitely definitely a commander to consider because of the support tree and because of her skill she is very very resilient to skill damage meaning that she can actually absorb a lot a lot of skill damage i have even seen that with my edward if you guys want to check some of the videos that i have done double triple rally against her and she can actually hold her own very very good another card that i'm gonna definitely post on top is gonna be about her being used on the battlefield she does have a limited option about that but i'm definitely going to post a card so you definitely want to check that video if you want more details when she is on the battlefield it's actually only two of her skills that are not in effect so it's the lion rider and is the legacy so these two skills when she is on the battlefield these have no effect so when she is on the battlefield it's only her primary skill it's her third skill that have effect and is her expertise. Not to mention together with that you have support and leadership which is pretty awesome and you guys already know about that because it's Ethelfled that pretty much has the same thing. She has support and leadership but totally different skills but we all know how good she is on the battlefield and you know people are actually using her let's go into her talents and then we're definitely gonna talk about some pairings before i'm gonna start showing my talent builds that i have for wuzi tian i have to mention one thing that she can be used in city and she can be used in flags as well if i would have had to make city specific and flag specific they would have been 
way too, too many pictures. This is how far the game is going and this is the direction the game is heading to. Meaning that you'll have specific talent for specific roles on specific structures. Either it's your city, your flag, Arc of Osiris. So this is going to be a variety of talents that you'll have to use not just on Wu Zetian but pretty much on all the commanders. This will actually start making a difference. Stats and everything you know People already know about stacking them, stacking the stats as, as much as possible, using the best equipment and, and all that. And speaking of equipment, equipment also only apply from the primary commander. I should have mentioned that. Talents also only work from the primary commander. So this is very important that you want to keep in mind. So this is my first talent build. You're noticing it says over there, four mix of troops. Well, that's pretty much where I would actually advise you to use it because you have the two talents which are armor to the teeth and armored to the teeth that is specific for mix of troops now you're noticing that you don't have emergency protection now if you do want to get emergency protection and that is not for the city then you can drop nowhere to turn and you can definitely drop steely soul and you can try to make your way towards emergency protection this can definitely be used in your city because what it is in your city it's obviously a mix of troops so Wuzi Tian is probably one of the best main garrison city defender but the question is does it actually worth investing in her this is the actual real question because she is kind of only garrison specific so how many times you're actually going to use her this is the reason why i actually waited to do her commander spotlight because there's so many legendary commanders so if you're a medium spender if you're a low spender or a free to play i don't actually recommend because there's plenty of events where you will actually have no use of her you know there's field battles very limited utilities she can be used if you max her out you know you just want to use her then definitely you can not doing a garrison build of course if... now here we have an anti-swarm type of build you're noticing that the build is made with no die enemy this build i would recommend it when you want to defend against multiple rallies so if you're actually going to get double or triple rally then definitely you want to do uh, this build with anti-swarming you're noticing that you have emergency protection here as well now you're probably wondering why do i have emergency protection here and i don't have it in the previous build that's because this is against multiple rallies if you're gonna get multiple rallies then it means that's gonna be a lot of marchers or a lot of commanders that will do skill damage on you and emergency protection will actually have higher and higher chance to stay up all the time when is a single rally you can only benefit from emergency protection from the second in command skill damage because you can think about it when the primary does it has a 50 percent chance to activate it and then the second in command when it does the skill damage then it can actually work and absorb some of the damage but if it doesn't work on the primary and it works on the second that means emergency protection has done nothing so it has ups and downs uh, against a single rally using emergency protection but against double triple rally you definitely need it and you also need no the enemy now again nowhere to turn it doesn't work in a flag so if you want to do this for a garrison those are three talent points you can just uh, use them somewhere else maybe get healing herbs from leadership get a little bit more healing or just get more stats i call this talent build like an all-around wuzitian build you're probably noticing that is not against you know multiple rallies it's also with mix of troops so pretty much you know all kind of situation type of uh, rally i would definitely use this in um, arc of osiris or osiris league this one and the previous one which is this one so these two builds i would say that they are probably some one of the best that you can probably use in arc of osiris or osiris league if you're using woozy tan as a as tanking this one is also the same but if you want to make a talent build for woozy tan to actually tank against attila and takeda that is a again a total different type of talent and to actually explain a talent for that it has to be like this i haven't drawn one because like 
like I said, how many Italian builds can you can you draw? So if you want to go against Attila and Takeda, you definitely need Rejuvenate. But what you don't need against Attila and Takeda is reducing skill damage because they don't do any kind of skill damage. So loose formation is useless. Getting counter attack that can definitely help. She does healing. So Elixir will definitely help her enhancing the healing effect. Rejuvenate counter-attack you know very very useful after that you don't need impregnable but what you need is empty fortresses and impenetrable fortifications so you definitely need those from the garrison after that you want to go on the leadership and you want to get strategic prowess you don't want to go with armed and you don't want to go with armored against the tila and takeda mix of troops is not really working so you kind of have to do a single type of troops preferably infantry so putting her with someone like i don't know constantine or someone like charles martel has been proven to actually give good results so that way kind of need strategic prowess to try to increase the defense as much as possible on that infantry and just do as much damage as possible with the counter attack because that's what Wuzi Tian has on her expertise and that's what Charles Martel has on his four skill that's a total of 50% counter attack damage bonus so you want to be as defensive as possible but you want to do as much counter attack as possible so strategic prowess and then you try to make your way to close formation I'm not sure if you actually reach it but try to make your way there another option if you're not happy going for close formation if you do have enough you can go for king's guard that's actually three percent attack defense and health because it specifically says here no effect when garrison in cities so obviously you want to do this for a flag or any kind of objective plenty of options plenty of possibilities and a lot of talent builds you can do for her this is something that a lot of people need to understand there's no longer an all around or the best talent build which everyone is asking there is talent build for the situation or you know for what you need in that moment like i said emergency protection is a really nice talent but against a single rally i don't actually find it very very useful double triple rally or swarming then definitely yes now in terms of pairings i would say that wuzi tian with ysg um, like an all-around type of combination is definitely really really good we all know what ysg can do in a flag or in a garrison so definitely wuzi tian ysg <laughs> <laughs> There's no question being more tanky you can definitely swap to the infantry commander so we have Charles Martel for that after Charles Martel we have uh, Richard and we also have Constantine which all three are also garrison commanders in the same time and they actually make a very decent pair trying to go further and pair her with other different commanders for garrison purpose i don't actually think that will work and for your city i would actually say that if you want to use wuzi tian primary i would definitely put ysg a second because you want to take down that rally as fast as possible trying to just go in defensive mode and just bringing troops back that can give you more severely wounded will fill up your hospital and then you will have that so this is probably not something you're looking for so wuzi tian with YSG for your city, but on the flag or any kind of fortress garrisoning, you might want to look on someone like Constantine and someone like Charles Martel, because they could be some pretty damn tanky if you do like a full infantry garrison. People are starting to make this specific type of defenses, which are proving to be better and better. You know, people are learning and learning and learning, especially in the old kingdoms. <clears throat> so, Things are, are getting, you know, more spicy and not as easy as it used to be in the first and second season. For Ark of Osiris, I would look on someone like Richard, you know, Woozy Tan and Richard. This actually sounds and it is a very interesting pair because you kind of have double healing. And because of the leadership tree and because of the support tree, you kind of have a lot of healing effect enhancement plus another 30% from Richard. So that's you know a lot of healing effect enhancement meaning more troops coming back from the dead <laughs> you're raising an army of zombie using Wuzi Tian and Richard in your garrison 
in the Ark of Osiris. That's pretty much what I have to say about Wu Zetian. Again, a very formidable commander and a very uh, good garrison commander. But like I mentioned, I would only recommend it for that handful of players that actually have a lot of sculptures at their disposal. If you're a medium, low or free-to-play player, medium spender, low spender or free-to-play players, I don't actually think that this is one of the commanders you want to look into. I'm not sure how I should, should consider myself medium spender, <laughs> high spender, uh, mid-low spender, whatever you want to say, but I'm still not investing in her because there's still way other options that I can use to actually defend. And on top of that, those commanders can actually be used on something else, like maybe Field Battle, Lost Canyon, you know, Super Canyon, Sunset Canyon, uh, whatever Canyon, and can bring you other utilities. A commander like Wu Zetian, you will do you will upgrade her for just garrison specific purpose that means that you'll have to wait for another season of kvk or you have to wait another week or another two weeks until you have ark of osiris and user for one hour you know so pretty limited utilities of the commander <coughs> that's why i personally don't invest in her because there's still other options we can defend with uh, and actually get decent results another mention about wu zetian is seeing her defending with siege that's something I've done as well, because you guys all know my all-time favorite, Garrison. Even in my city and what I do in Flag, it's Sansu and YG, which are terrible against Attila and Takeda. So don't use them against Attila and Takeda. But against anything else, Sansu and YG, they just take it on. So I was literally just at some point pouring in Siege in the Garrison, in the Flag. Pretty much all the time was like at least 1 million Siege. There was 4 or 5 players that were just pouring in Siege, T5 Siege mostly. And they bring a lot of value to the Garrison, especially if you have the tech for the Siege maxed out. Using Sansu and YG with mostly Siege and it was actually very successful in defending the Flag. And I have noticed the same with Wu Zetian and uh, YSG with Siege, which, you know, it is pretty interesting, but it worked. So yeah, a lot of options for Wu Zetian and very good and great Garrison Commander. Until next time, this is your boy Legend Ronnie signing off. Peace out, yo, and take care. And if you have any questions, you guys always know, drop them in the comment section below and I'll always answer them. <laughs> Thank you.